Hello, this is Brian. Today is Sunday, October 17th, 2021, and I ride by the North Fork of the Kern River. This is, uh, I believe, the, the road's number M99, Mountain 99. This is the one that leads from the Isabella Lake area well up into the mountains. So I'm here just poking around trying to see, trying to just check out some stuff over here. My friend Brett's with me. Yes. 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 <laughs> Having a good time. Uh, of course, as usual here in Southern California, work is Chrysolopus. Now here's an ash tree right here. What the heck is it? I think this might this might actually this might be Oregon ash. This look might the, be. Look at yeah, this might be Fraxinus latifolia. Hey, right. This I believe might be uh, Oregon ash. Fraxinus How latifolia. These trees can get up to maybe about 50, 60, 70 feet tall. They come from Oregon? Oregon, and uh, there are even some vouchers in uh, Southern California. In L.A. County, they have a few vouchers for no Fraxinus latifolia. Yeah, so this appears to be, I believe this is Fraxinus latifolia. It's latifolia broad leaflets. So I think this is, this might be Oregon ash. I didn't collect, I'm strapping. But in some, some of these, some of, the, uh, some, uh, some of them can be very easy to confuse with... Uh, with uh, another species of ash called Fraxinus volutina, which is uh, the Arizona or velvet ash. Sometimes they can be confused. But now we're, you know, we're in mid-October right now, so it's that time of the year where the trees are changing colors. So you can see here, we're, we're probably at about 3,000, we're a little, maybe a little above 3,000 feet elevation over here. So I just wanted to check this area out. Then we got a lot of really tall pines here. I think these might I think I think these are ponderosas, but these could be Jeffreys too. Could be Jeffrey pines, but there's also gray pine. Gray pine is a common fixture over here too. In fact, I'm gonna go over here a little bit more. And of course, California black oak, Quercus Kalagi. The ones higher up in elevation seem to be changing color more. We're down on a much lower elevation here. But the ash trees are all changing. Right now, some of these I some of these I know are Fraxinus volutina. I could tell you. These ones appear to be Fraxinus volutina. They have narrower leaves. I think Fraxinus latifolia has much larger leaves. And here's a tarantula, a species of tarantula. I'm not really hip to my arachnids, but you see a little tarantula crawling along the side of the road. It seems like October. I think is October, September, October seems to be tarantula season. But we got this little guy here just crawling along, not even really, not even really worried about my presence. But hey, a beautiful tarantula! Look at that. Yeah, a lot of times I think the tarantula season I think is in early fall. I think is when you start seeing them like crazy. But yeah, it's just really nice area over here. These ash trees are all changing color. Yeah, most of these appear to be Fraxinus volutina, the Arizona ash, but that one with the bro much broader leaflets could potentially be a Fraxinus latifolia, the Oregon ash. I think both both species are vouchered in this area, if I remember correctly. So I'm just going to head down this a little bit. We're going to go right by to the, the Kern River. Been by this area a few times, but I don't usually get a chance to stop over here. As you can see here, beautiful Fraxinus volutina. Yeah, these leaves are not as fuzzy. Seems like Fraxinus latifolia, I think, is fuzzier. I mean, we got a lot of Fraxinus volutina here by the Kern River. And it's that time of year where the leaves are changing, cool air starting to drain into this canyon. Absolutely beautiful over here. And here we are, right by the waters of the Kern River. Never, I've been through the area and I've stopped by this general vicinity to check some things out. That was before I was filming my videos, before I filming videos. But 
Now I'm down here, right by beautiful Kern River. Beautiful over here. And then we got the canyon on the opposite side there, full of gray pine, uh, more ash trees. It's like Pacific Ponderosa, I think, are these trees here. I would think this is kind of low for uh, Jeffrey Pines, for the most part. Yeah, we've got a lot of ash trees over here. Their fall color is showing up. Favorite time of year. You know me. Look at these thickets, too. Kind of got like stilt roots, because this area periodically floods. So these roots get exposed probably when the water rises during uh, really heavy rains and mountain snow melts. This area probably gets inundated occasionally. So this is, yeah, Fraxin is Volutina. Arizona ash, fall color. I've been wanting to see this for a while. And then, a tree I see a lot in Southern California. This is a red willow, Salix levigata. And you can see it's really deeply furrowed bark. There's a lot of Salix, there's some Salix levigata around here. Absolutely breathtaking area. This is why fall is my favorite season. Exactly why fall is my favorite season. Right here along the banks of the Kern River, North Fork. It's nice to see some water. We're here walking through these thickets. I'm just going to walk along here and try to get some nice fall color shots. Yeah. These trees quite haven't quite peaked yet, but when they do, they can become a brilliant yellow. An absolutely astounding fall color. That's one of the reasons why these trees are planted a lot. Uh, in cultivation was for shade and beautiful fall color. You can see here, we're not quite peaking yet, but it's definitely very nice. And I think this is a Pacific Ponderosa right here. Just wondering about these. This doesn't seem like this would be a real, a real good place for Jeffrey pines because they're more usually, except in a few spots, these are generally higher elevation trees, the Jeffrey pines. But I think this is, yeah, this looks like a Pacific Ponderosa. So we do occasionally get some Ponderosas establishing down here in the, in the bottomlands. And yes, the cones seem like they're. A little bit darker underneath the cone scales and the prickles point out, so I'm going with Ponderosa. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So yeah, we got big Ponderosa pines down here. They love these bottom lands. So you'll see them mixing in with uh, these ash trees. We got more ash trees over here. We got white alder. We got, san uh, we got sandbar willow. This is Salix exigua. And then here we are, some more beautiful fall color from the ash trees. Uh, white alders, they're deciduous too. They shed their leaves in autumn, but they don't change color. They drop whether the color will dull, dull on, get dull on them and then just drop right off. But man, I am wondering if we have both species of uh, Fraxinus over here, Fraxinus volutina and latifolia. Sometimes the leaflets can be quite wide on these guys. Here is an old specimen here that fell over, but it re-sprouted. So it became a thicket over here. Ash trees are... I always loved ash trees. Oh man, it's, this is Brian. I love every tree. I love trees, period. But it's really cool. Yeah, we got the canyon live oaks. Very common. Very common in the Sierras, just like in the Southern California mountains. Canyon live oaks are everywhere so it's not like that's a surprise but it's definitely still a very pleasant thing to see so down here it seems like the ash trees change a little bit earlier and then the oaks change a little bit later higher up I did a video higher up on Sherman Pass Road which intersects near here and that area it was the, uh, the oak leaves are all 
mostly going towards or at peak fall color. So down here it's lower elevation. But beautiful area. Yeah, it's another busy roadway. But yeah, these ash trees are fuzzy underneath. Alutina means velvety. So, <laughs> go figure. But beautiful area. Sometimes you just got to take the long drive, come up here, and enjoy the forest. Because this is gorgeous out here. Yeah! The Canyon Live Oaks, Pacific Ponderosas, all these Arizona ashes, or velvet ashes if you like to call them that. Just outstanding over here. Oh man, that's gorgeous over here, huh? Yes! Oh yeah, I saw! That's freaking awesome. I think so. I, th I think I think I think that I think I think you're definitely in a in a good one on that one. Yeah. There's a lot of white alder down here too. Well, this uh Not yet, huh? This is right here by the the waters of the Kern River are really refreshing. Yeah, that, I, these are ponderosas. Oh, hell yeah. yeah, I took a look at them. So, uh, the, the cone scales are a little bit darker on the bottom and the prickles point out. Yeah. So I'm going with ponderosa and I'm sticking to my story. No, I like that. I like it. Love it here, man. Yeah, hey, the white alders that got their developing seed, their developing fruits. Just these ash trees are really tripping me up. They're so beautiful. Look at this little guy here. I know it's starting to get a little darker, so my the, my film quality is probably not as good. But here's an older one that hasn't been uprooted a million times. Look at that. There's that stringy bark. In fact, Fraxinus latifolia, Oregon, Oregon ash has similar bark too. So sometimes they can be very hard to tell apart. But this definitely appears to be probably these are probably most most of these are probably Fraxinus. Valutinas. And here we go. Again, by the water's edge. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice to see running water. Especially this area could be quite dry. Yeah. This is an incredibly beautiful place. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes the snow level comes down low enough for this. Well, that's the thing is, I think most of these are still Arizona ashes. Yeah. Sometimes it requires a botanist with a, with a high level of expertise, more than I have, to be able to determine the difference between them. Most of these are uh, velvet or Arizona ash. But oh. the one by where I parked, I don't know, that kind of, that might be a fraction as latifolia. Oh, because I, I don't know what's, what's up with, oh, is this a kind of what's the, yeah. I'm up there hollow. Yeah, it's definitely a ponderosa. That's from a ponderosa. Yeah, these are ponderosas down here. These aren't Jeffrey pines. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are probably all ponderosas, except for the gray pines, of course. Yeah. Yeah, there's one over there, too. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to see if I can see any fish swimming by. I don't see anything right now, but I imagine this is a perennial stream, so it's not like it dries up during the year. Because every time I, every time we've been here, yeah. the uh, le the river's always been flowing. So I think this is a perennial river. So I don't think I don't think it dries out. Because otherwise, by now this would be the driest time of year. Yeah. Beautiful Kern River. This is the North Fork of the Kern River. 
Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, I wonder what kind of species of fish would be living in here, though. Probably trout, maybe salmon. Um, fortunately, fortunately, my ichthyology is not very good, but one thing is for sure, this place is spectacular. Look at these red willows. Well, actually, this is something different. Yeah, more, more ash. Yeah, some big ponderosas down here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on another adventure video. Right from the Kern River, baby!